So in this question, we're given two signals, x and y, and we're asked about how can we get y from x? What's the transformation that will take us from x to y? So how can we write y in terms of x? That's really the question. So two things are going on here. There's something happening with the amplitude. So this one, something's happening to the amplitude. So there's some kind of scaling happening in the vertical direction. And something's happening here. So there's also some kind of scaling. So this is being stretched or compressed. So we have two, two forms of scaling going on. So scaling in the y direction is simply a multiplication. So you would say something like y of t equals scaling factor multiplied by x of t. That will result in a scaling in the vertical direction by a factor of a. So if a was 5, x of t, we multiplied by 5, and here you'd have a 5, so x of t looks, would look like that, and y of t would look like that. So that is what we mean by um, scaling. So that's, that's the first thing that's going on. We have this factor of a outside. So in the options here, we have your a here and here and here. So we can eliminate the others. The other thing that's going on is we've got scaling in the x direction. So here we have your 1 becoming 1 over a. So again, if we stick with the example of 5, this is 1 fifth as wide as this. So there's clearly scaling going on in the horizontal direction. But remember, when we scale a function by multiplying the independent variable, that has the effect, it has the opposite effect of multiplying um, outside. So instead of stretching or scaling by a factor of a, it would scale by a factor of 1 over a, so it would compress by a factor of a. And you can think of this, if you look at the example of um, sine t compared with sine 2t. So sine t would look something like this, from minus pi to pi. But sine 2t would be compressed, so it would be from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. So this compression, so this period here is 2 pi, whereas this here is pi. So by multiplying by 2, this actually results in that being divided by 2. So in our question, we're scaling by a factor of 1 over a, so that means we would need to multiply by a here. So that would be a t. So this a, nothing to do with that, but this a is the result of this. So if I just make it clear that this a comes from there, and this a comes from there. So there we have our answer. So this is the topic of transformations. If you've forgotten about transformations, maybe it's a good time to, to revise this.